Hey everybody, happy Friday night. I wanna talk about energy. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Brittany Bud. Sorry, I just snuggling with my little guy and he likes to twiddle my hair. Look at that, jeepers creepers. He likes to, he likes to twiddle my hair. So he like takes my hair and he like wiggles it with his fingers. So anyway. Um, so, for those of you that do not know me, <laughs> my name is Brittany Budd. I am a leader, a coach, and a mentor, and I empower women to build confidence and create success so they can live the lifestyle of their dreams. And I want to talk about energy tonight, you guys. So, um, if you are not like a big science geek like I am, then you may or may not know this, but the law of energy is that it cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be changed. So it is so important to remember that and realize that when something happens to you throughout your day that alters your energy and the vibrations that you are giving off, everything in the world has energy and has a vibrational force around it. If you break anything down, like you break your phone down, you break your table down, you break yourself down, you know, you come down into these little atoms and they're, they're energy. So it cannot be created, it cannot be destroyed, but it can be altered. And if something happens throughout your day that has impacted your day and brought your energy level down, you have the capability of changing your energy to be higher again. And it's so important to surround yourself with things that give off good energies. So like even the things in your, in your room or in your house, in your living room, in your bathroom. You know, we talk a lot about like creating, creating your little space, your little comfort zone. Well, what do you put in those spaces? Things that when you look at them, they kind of give you an, an energy. They make you feel good. They make you feel happy. And the highest forms of energy and vibrations are gratitude, love, and joy. So, you know, we put pictures of our families up because they give us feelings of love and feelings of joy and feelings of gratitude and, you know, little knick-knack things that we just, like, like to look at. Like, they make us happy to look at them. Have you ever gone to someone's house or, like, been in a mall or in a store and you've looked at something that's just been like, ugh. Like, that doesn't make me feel nice. I don't like that. I don't like the way it looks. I would not want that in my house. That's because the energy that it's giving off makes you feel like, I don't want to deal with that. I don't like that. I wouldn't want that around me. So the things that we surround ourselves with impact our vibrations and our energies. Something else, we're all connected, you guys. Because energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be changed. The energy in the world is the energy in the world. We're all connected to it. We're all connected to the planet. Like, we're walking on the ground. I mean, even when we're, like, in airplanes and stuff, like, whatever, if you're going to get all technical on me. But we're all connected through energy. Um, like, a really great analogy regarding, like, surrounding yourself with people that have, like, high vibrational energy is, like, considering a funeral. When you walk into a funeral you can instantly feel the weight of that energy in the room. You can tell right away, this is sad, this is melancholy. The vibrations in here are really, really low. Whereas if you go to like a comedy show or like a motivational speaker or something like that, or even sports events when your team is winning, like you often hear people talk about the energy in those environments and how it's really high vibrational and like you can feel the excitement, you can you can feel the fun and the atmosphere is just completely different. I'm like, you need to look at yourself in how you put off energy and how you let other people affect your energy. Um, in saying that maybe how much control do you have over your own energy? So let's say you went to coffee with a girlfriend or a guy friend. You went for like wings and beers, like whatever. And as soon as you sit down at the table, you're like you're in a good mood, you're excited to see your friend. You sit down at the table and your friend is like, Ooh. And they start complaining about their job and their relationship and how they don't have any money. And it's just a big old sob story. Are you going to let that person 
like be an energy suck from you and like drain your energy, bring your vibrations down? Or do you have enough control of your own emotions and your own energies and your own vibrations to kind of pull that person up and look at the positive side of things? And on the flip side, if you go to coffee or you go to beer and wings with a buddy, if you sit down and like you're just kind of like, you're in the middle, you're mellow, you're cool, like you're excited to see your friend, like whatever. And they are like way up here, they're jazzed about something. Maybe they got a promotion, maybe they fell in love, maybe they got engaged and they're just like, yeah, 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 woo! Are you going to drag that person down to your level or are you gonna allow that person to bring you up to their level? We can control what our energies are doing. And sometimes, you know, sometimes we lose our cool. That, that's human nature. Like lose your cool, get frustrated, be mad at things, get your feelings hurt, feel sad. But at the same time, you can control how long you feel that way. And you can make the decision to go, okay, I need to snap myself out of this. I'm going to, I need to raise my energy level. I need to do something that brings me joy so I can like get it up there and succumb to other people's energies. Are you going to allow yourself to be dragged down by someone? Are you going to allow yourself to be pulled up by someone? So I really just wanted to make you guys aware of this because, you know, we really don't think about how everything in the world and everything in the universe is all connected through energy and even money has energy it's a flow in and out in and out and you know I just wanted to like share that with you guys tonight because it's so super important to surround yourself with people and experiences and things that bring your vibration up and make you feel those key vibrational emotions of gratitude, joy, and happy, and what? Love. <laughs> gratitude, joy, and love. So I hope you guys found that valuable tonight. I hope you're having an amazing Friday night. We went out to dinner and then we went birthday present shopping for a little lady that we have her party tomorrow. And we just had, we had a lovely evening. So I hope you guys are having a lovely evening. And as always, my stuff is always public. So if there's someone that you would like to share my little tidbits on energy tonight, feel free to tag them in the comments, share it to their profile, like whatever you want to do is cool with me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and you will see me all back here tomorrow. Have a good night, guys.